Hello everybody, welcome to The Grape Calls. I'm Brian. I'm Scott. That's Scott. And <laughs> we were gonna go live on Ustream. We tried so um, hard. We tried so hard, but we tried two... For a half hour. For a half hour, we tried two different computers, and um, yeah. my Mac kept crashing, and mm -hmm. it was just not a good situation. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's get on to the good stuff. Yeah. Today we're talking about a Riesling out of Australia from the McLaren Vale. Mm -hmm. uh, Diarnberg. Diarnberg. Uh, this is the 2007 The Dry Dam Riesling. Rolling in at... About 10 bucks. 10 bucks at 11.5% alcohol. Okay, not too bad. Scott has already been... I've had a little time on my hands because um, of the technical difficulties, so I, yeah. I got sort of an idea of what's going on here. Um, Color-wise, um, it's like we had a discussion earlier, like really hydrated pea color. Um, <laughs> this is what your doctor says when he goes, oh, I see you've been drinking a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Or a lot of wine that's slightly yellow-ish. So this is slightly delicious. This is continuing our uh, customer appreciation box, which has lasted us so much longer than yeah. we intended originally. But we'll get through it. We got another one coming up for Valentine's Day, so that'll be kind of we got special. Something, something special planned mm -hmm. for you for for Valentine's Day. All right, Brian, uh, you are wait. Just can we like c can we do like with the lights softened and like get some candles <laughs> on the table? Yeah. Can you put like a red sort of light? Oh yeah, we there? can do whatever. Okay. We should get a uh, some females on the on the show. Uh huh. Maybe my fiance. That's true. Um, though I'm convinced she really doesn't even like me. Um, I don't even think she watches the show, which is fine. Uh, Bru er, not Bruce, you're not Bruce. Bruce was right. helping us out with our technical problems, and that was great. Yeah. But you could Love get... Um, I don't think I can get anyone. We could get Teener on here for you. Teener time. Teener time. Mm -hmm. she's, on, uh, she's on Twitter, and she goes by try underscore Becca. <laughs> <laughs> try Becca, I get it. Okay, but anyway, on the yes. nose, um, let's stay focused here. I'm getting some apples, man. Yeah. The Granny Smith apples. I get like the small, the smallest thing I get is apple. Yeah. Just a little bit. Anything else? Um. Cause I got a list and I can start. Yeah. Start You've had going. such a head start on. I you. know. Okay. Well. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, go ahead. I'm getting, I'm getting a little um, excited, antsy. Some apples, some stones. I'm getting some stoniness yeah. to it. Yeah. A little bit of. What they, like, what like they call mineralities. Mineralities. Something like that. Whatever stone, that is. I'm getting stone dust. Yeah. Like maybe a chalk kind of type thing. Mm -hmm. Actually. Some rubber. I'm getting some rubber. Mm -hmm. Like rubber bouncy ball like rubber or like tire rubber? Um, Blacker. Have clear. you ever smelled a bag of rubber bands? Yeah. That's what it smells like. Okay. I get more of the bouncy ball kind of. Okay. Have you ever bit into a bouncy ball? Um, I believe I have, actually. It's a very interesting experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, like, granular. Yeah. And yeah. it's weird. Bruce doesn't know what we're talking about. Okay, what are you getting he on the He doesn't get it. Well, <laughs> hey, so Bruce. those those are kind of on the lower end of what I smell. And then what I get in greater proportions is, like, lemon heads. Lemon heads. Um, the candy. A little bit, little sweet. Not getting the lemon, lemon heads, but I do see where you're going with, like, kind of the sweet. Mm -hmm. The sweetness of the lemon heads. A little bit of sweet. Candy. And, yeah. um... The big overriding thing is, um... Farther away, I'm getting, like, some apricot. Interesting. I'm going in a different direction, though. Yeah, sorry. Um, chicken broth with a lot of onions in it. <laughs> that, that, that's the major thing that I get here. I don't get that at all. It's, like, dead uh, center, right yeah. in the middle of the glass. Chicken broth with a lot of spicy onions in yeah. it, which is awesome. This is like my favorite white wine nose I think I've ever had. That wasn't a dessert wine, because that gets a little interesting. Mm. Yeah. I'll have to see if it has the a right amount of acidity for Brian, Ooh. but what I I do want to know is that it's a little sour. It's very sour. Mm -hmm. Um has a decent amount of acidity, kind of medium acidity, which I'm really liking. Mm -hmm. Bounces that out well with the uh, medium body of the wine. Um, wow, this is actually a white wine that is really... This has probably been my favorite white wine that we have had in a while. It's mine, definitely. Because it is very well balanced, great body, great acidity, very sugary, too, yeah. on the palate. It was very sugary. I was kind of taken aback by that. 
getting a heavy dose of the of the lemon heads on the attack, and then the, kind of that Granny Smith uh, acidity, Granny Smith apple acidity on the mid palate, um, with kind of that mineral finish that kind of lingers for quite some time. Yep. Wow. Let's try it. Man, this is good. Um, this was actually opened a couple hours ago, but um, when I start started messing around with it, uh, you could see some bubbles kind of happening, and so earlier when I was during this, there was a little bit of sparkle yeah. fazante going on in there. Wow. Um, Holy cow, this is good. Yeah. Man. It's really, like, it's, it's getting up there mm. towards, like, heavy mouthfeel. Man, like, this is so well balanced. <laughs> like, it's called the dry dam, and... I'm not sure if they're trying to say that this is dry, and it kind of is. It's really, like, literally, when I say balanced, it's got such a great balance between sweetness, dryness, acidity, body. And chicken broth. And chicken broth, which I'm still not getting. I get that, like, towards the finish. And I'm really getting a little bit of that minerality to it, um, kind of that stoniness, hey, I just licked a stone kind of type <laughs> thing. Really good. Man. Yeah. Or you're done writing on a chalkboard, yeah. you lick your fingers. Yeah, or you just Cause everybody lick does the that. chalkboard. But <laughs> and by everyone, we mean you. Yeah, well, um, yeah, besides the chicken broth, the other thing I get is, um, like, if you made a candy apple with, like, yellow instead of the red, like, lemon candy apple, mm -hmm. that's pretty much, yeah. so pretty much similar to the nose. Wow, so again, this is out of Australia, mm -hmm. the McLaren Vale. Uh, this is a Riesling, 11.5% alcohol. Um, which most Rieslings rolling out about a eight or nine, in mm. my experience. Yeah, I'd say like nine to thirteen. Nine to thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking of converged to me. That's um, But how much did this retail for? Do you know? It, well, so we got it at the customer appreciation price, which was about ten bucks. Okay. Wow. So. Um, well, let's talk about ratings. Yeah. I think I'm gonna give this. This is really good. I'm going to give it a 91. Mm -hmm. is, is, is that what you're going to no. give it? A 91? Okay. But <laughs> that is interesting because that's what the... Mm, man, this has just blown me away. This is one of my... This is probably... I'm going to say this is probably the best white wine I've had so far. Mm -hmm. This is really On good. On the show? Yeah. Or ever? Probably ever. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a 91 from the spectator. So, pretty, pretty close there. For me, personally, I'm going to give it an 88 plus. Because um, I think I mean it's it's really kind of complex. I just wish that it was a little more distinguishable, like exactly what was going mm, on. This is so good. Um, but ah. in terms of like enjoying it, like not too much um, acidity, not too sour. Like for me, I can't handle like a ton of acidity. Yeah. The flavors are not offensive. I'm, like, I'm sure for you, wine. acidity, it's almost it's it's almost crossing the line. I mean, I don't. I mean, I usually when we do this with white wines, I've got like some little cut on my tongue, and it like yeah. really gets in there and stuff. So um, I, I don't, that. I don't know. Maybe I should slit it a little. So this is spectator on, rated, ninety one points. Yep. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that makes me feel a lot better about myself now. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Bless you, Bruce. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is my favorite wow. white wine. Um, um, maybe ever, maybe... So I'm, I'm giving this a double recommend. Yeah, me too. Based on the score alone, a double recommend. And for the price, if I had more thumbs, I could do it. I would give it like a quadruple recommend. I would go out and buy a case of this stuff and just, just gulp this down. Um, no, 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 not gulp it down. I, I don't endorse that. Uh... <laughs> This is stuff that I would have when I'm raiding in World of Warcraft. Uh, Going to be starting a podcast soon. Um, we'll get on to... Well, I'll tell you guys about that later. I'm <laughs> guessing like maybe one person will actually watch it. Uh, but it'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts? No. Delicious. Buy this. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry about the Ustream. stream. Going to try and work on that for next week. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, get us on Facebook. The Grape Calls. Become a fan. Love to see you there. Um... What else do we have? iTunes. iTunes. Get us on iTunes. The Grape Call us on yeah. iTunes. Call the hotline. Call the hotline. 331-68-GRAPE. Uh, get me on Twitter, at B. Yinger. Send an email to yeah, Scott. Yeah, you can't reach me. <laughs> um, you can send Scott an email. That's true. Uh, I will most likely answer emails. Kelly S at bgsu.edu. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later.